Hey guys, Toolman Tim here. Welcome back to the workshop where we create community, find freedom, promote preparedness, and share success. It's Tuesday morning, which means it's time for another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. And this week, we're going to have a nine month later review of the GoV freezer alarm system. I liked it then, I love it now. Hang in there and I'll tell you why. Guys, real quick, before we dive into the review this week, you want to know more about me? Toolmantim.co. Run by there. You'll find the links to the podcast, the monthly newsletter, social media, and the shop, where I have way over 100 products that I've used and abused that have made me money or saved me money in my handyman business. A ton of different Amazon links. Anything you pick up over there will help support the content that I create, and I'll be eternally grateful. So thanks, guys. Okay, so this week we're going to talk again about the GoV freezer alarm system. They're not just for a freezer, but it is the best option on the market that I have found to work for monitoring the huge investment you have in your freezer. Now, <laughs> I wanted to go back a year later, or you know, in this case it's about nine months later, and fill you in on how much I really, really like this product. The biggest complaint in the last video was simply that there was too long of an opening. And that was because it was my very first Toolbox Tuesday video and ended up spending about four minutes introducing it. So I wanted to get right to it. Nine months later, this damn thing, all three of them are still running on the same batteries that I put in there the day that I threw them in my freezer. I've been using Eneloop, just regular white Eneloop AA batteries, and they've held up. They have an on screen when I log in with my phone a little battery monitor on there. They're down to one third or below one third at this point, but they're still working perfectly. So a little bit of backstory. Of course, you know, we, we have a lot of meat and frozen food set aside. That's what we do. We, we're, we try to keep enough food on hand so that we can feed ourselves if we can't get to the store or whatever. And that's a huge investment and I wanted to protect it. And the traditional system of freezer alarms is this kind of thing right here. This is what I bought a couple of years ago, two Aprils ago now. And to be honest, I hated it from the day I bought it. It had these magnets on the back that fell off. This was the Accurite freezer alarm system. If you wanna see the review, in some instances, this is the best option that's out there for you. My review is still up there, people still watch it, but I did put a, a note in there that I've since switched to these Wi-Fi monitoring alarms. So the base station takes AAA batteries and the sensors take AA batteries. No big deal, just a pain in the ass. The problem with these is they have the range of, you know, about as far as I can spit. I couldn't get a signal to stay with these between, and literally I had it above on one floor and in the freezers below, and I, I was losing signal all the time. They send a signal constantly. They go through batteries like every month to two months. They work if that's the only thing you can have. It has a nice little monitor on there. It does alarm, like an, an audible alarm. But the problem is, is that in my house, I just couldn't get a consistent signal. And it wasn't that far. We're talking maybe 10 feet from where it was sitting to the one deep freeze right below. And I just could not get a signal at all. And also, it was only good if I was in my house, on the ground floor, to be able to hear the alarm. If I was away traveling, wouldn't work. If I was out in the yard, wouldn't work. If I was in the uh, third floor, wouldn't work. I mean, it would work, but there's nobody there to hear it. So I started looking for something that I could remotely monitor that wasn't that expensive. And I came across these GoV temperature and humidity sensors. So they also, they both monitor the temperature and the humidity. Not that humidity matters in the deep freeze per se, but what I like about these is they're good down to around minus 20 Celsius. And they just sit there and they just keep doing what they're supposed to do day in and day out. You can set the duration between how often it sends a signal. I believe I have mine set to either 10 or 15 minutes, whatever the longest stretch was, because to me, even if I had it set to every two hours, it would be fine. But that I think has been the single saving grace of this on the batteries. It just takes three AA batteries on the inside and it just continuously sends a signal. Now, I really liked these back then, but now that I got nine months under my belt and these things have worked almost without a hitch, a couple little things we'll touch on, but they just keep sending the signal. I can, when I'm at home, you can log in with the Bluetooth and it will tell you, okay, 
this is what it's doing. This is how well it's been working. This is the trend of the temperatures. You're all good. You can change all the settings with the Bluetooth, but if I'm away, say we're gone for a week or a weekend or whatever, I can still log in because these connect via Wi-Fi to your local Wi-Fi network. And then I can log in and see, yep, everything's good. And then if there ends up being an issue where the temperature drops or sorry, raises in this instance, it's going to send me a push notification to my phone. And I know, Hey, I can call somebody. Can you run by check on the deep freeze or Tim, you know, you were checking on breakers and you forgot to flick one back on and all of a sudden, Oh yeah, shit. I better go check that out. A few questions that were asked of me from the last review. And number one was, why did I buy these? Well, that was simple because these old systems suck. It was time to find some new technology and I wanted to be the guinea pigs. I bought or the guinea pig. I bought my first one like two weeks after these showed up on Amazon. They were a brand new product with almost no reviews and they're sold. This has probably been either the biggest or the second biggest seller that I've seen in my Amazon affiliate sales. People buy these a lot and I haven't had any complaints coming back from any users. Uh, the only one that was a little bit of an issue was a uh, chicken hawk, a fellow content creator picked him up and he's had trouble uh, getting his Wi-Fi to connect to them. But he also mentioned he hadn't taken a whole lot of time yet to track down what might be causing that. So that, that was the main issue. A uh, couple times I've had it drop the Bluetooth and only once, uh, just recently I had to pull the batteries out of here and then cause it to reconnect to the Bluetooth. That's the only hiccup I've had in nine months. These, these old style systems would drop signal like once a day, it was awful. And then you have to go in and you have to hit the little reset with the pin. So I like these. Now, I gotta tell you though, one thing I did not realize when I bought these was the GoV company does not recommend these in a freezer. You know, I was rather surprised, but anyway, I got reading through all the Amazon comments and GoV comes in and says, we do not recommend these in a freezing environment. Well, nine months later, and all three of these and all three of my deep freezes have held up great. The battery life has been really good. So the app itself will hold two years worth of data. So if you ended up being like a butcher or somebody like a, a cottage farmer that sold a little bit of meat, you would actually have a physical paper trail to show that the, the meat was held at this temperature right until it left your house. So I thought that was kind of neat if you were into that. Or you can use these to monitor greenhouses to make sure the temperature stayed up. And so say you're away for a while and there was a big drop or a big spike, you might be able to figure out why that was. There's a widget that you can add that you can actually put on the kind of the desktop of your iPhone that'll show you real-time temperature monitoring if you're into that sort of thing. Comes with cheap no-name batteries. I throw them away and replace them with my uh, Eneloop rechargeables. And one other question I got asked about this item was, do you need any extra technology to monitor this? Because there is the GoV Hub, which is a piece of hardware that you can buy from the company that allow you to monitor a whole bunch of different devices. And the simple answer is absolutely not. This is all you need. You have this sensor and you got a Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connection with your phone and that's all you need to monitor it. I've been able to do that with all three through the app, the free app on the iPhone and it's worked great. These were out of stock in Canada for quite some time. They're finally back in right now. They're about 40 bucks. Canadian. There's a $3 off coupon at the moment, but that'll change. But the American ones, um, they're on amazon.com. They've been in stock all along. And for quite some time now, there's been a, about a $5 off coupon. So grab some of these. So if you're looking for something to guard the investment that you have in your deep freeze, we need to have an alarm system. It's all about being prepared and it's about using technology to the best of your ability. And these guys, they're great. They're built really sturdy, really strong. And there's nothing that can go wrong with them. A little LED light on the front that blinks to let you know it has charge and it just keeps sending the signal. I'm a huge fan of set it and forget it systems and that's what this has been for me. This has been a set it and be a pain in my ass system for the entire year I used it and I had to change. So here we are, we're back to the GoV alarm system. I wanted to share with you guys some more thoughts. If you're interested, there'll be a link in the description below. And if you got more questions about it, just send them to me and I'll do another follow-up video. We'll go another six, 12 months and in a year or two, I'll come back and give you another fill in. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. As always, stay happy, stay healthy and have a great week.